Hello, it's been a little while since I last made a video. I always find it harder during the winter when it seems dark and grey all the time. But it's been a lot sunnier lately and I felt inspired to create some fun mixed media pieces. My family and I visited Cornwall last week and we went on a lot of coastal walks which just had the most amazing views and I'm using these as the references for these paintings. I've been trying to remind myself to make time for experimenting with my art and allowing myself to play around with materials and seeing what I can make. A lot of my art, especially for clients or when I was at a uni, were meticulously planned out and I didn't really leave much room for surprises, so I'm trying to break that process a bit with this. I had no plan or idea for what I wanted to do with these pieces, I just kind of got a whole bunch of materials out on my desk and just started filming. The materials I ended up using were gouache paints and Prismacolor pencils. I love that with gouache I have the choice to sort of water it down and also have almost have a watercolour effect with it, but also I can make it really opaque as well. And then using the pencils on top to create lots of mark making, and my favourite bit is when I use the lighter colour pencil on top of the dark paint. I think I did it a few times with the pink, and I just love the way it looks. All three of the paintings I did here took no longer than 20 minutes. The focus was definitely more on having fun with the colours and the textures than it was about accuracy. And I just need to remember to do stuff like this more often. It was such a great like, way to spend my morning, just sort of like playing around with making these sort of paintings. I was just using scrap paper that I had left over, which is why all the, the sizes were a bit funny. But it was really good just to sort of play around a bit and just see what I could create. Over the last couple of months I've also been making a few illustration courses for Creative Fabrica. I've got two class classes over there at the moment and have one more to make, covering how to make your own greetings cards, some techniques I use to draw stylized animals, making stickers, and the last one will be about making animated GIFs. This is one of the reasons I've had less time for YouTube, but these videos are a sort of more in-depth look at the way I draw and make art. So if you're interested at all, I'll put my link to the site in the description. If you sign up using the link, you'll get 20% off your subscription which gives you access to loads of resources on their site with like graphics and fonts and images and obviously you get access to all of the online courses that people have made. But thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like, I'm gently encouraging you to go and make something new and experimental. Have no rules and no pressure, just like have a go at making something and see what you can come up with. These paintings aren't the favourite thing I've ever made, but the process was fun and the accidental kind of purple pink green colour palette was definitely not one I was expecting to enjoy so much and one that I'll probably explore more in the future. But yeah, thanks again, and hopefully I'll be making some new videos soon.